Welcome back to the Video Game Gambler, and today, I will be doubling down for you. First up, we have Blackjack on the NES, made by Odyssey Software in 1992. This Blackjack game, in fact, came out after the Super Nintendo, so this ought to be the best Blackjack experience that you can find on the NES. So without much further ado, one card deck, may as well let the table limit be a thousand. One controller. It's good that it's two-player. That's a huge bonus. I don't think I've seen any other two-player blackjack games on the NES. So that gets pretty big time yay right there already. Oh uh, yeah, let's press start to begin. Because you could have this game, not cards, and you could still still play blackjack with your buddy. Uh, how much will I bet? It only lets me bet by increments of two? Alright, $54. Let's start. Nine to five. Well, I got a hit because dealers probably got a 20. And I got a 20. Let's see if ties go to the dealer or me. Stand. Or I'll just win with busted. Because I was incorrect. So let's spend another lucky 54 cash. Doesn't even say dollars, it's just cash. King and a queen, let's stand. Alright, so I won again. Alright, so far, I am digging this blackjack experience. Yeah, let's hit. And let's stand. I just like the fact you can play with a buddy, I didn't realize that at first. And that... You know, you, there are a lot of different... Hey, and I got a blackjack, look at that. And there are a handful of selections that you can play. You can choose one, two, or three cards, as was noted earlier. So yeah, thus far, it seems like a pretty reasonable blackjack experience for the NES. Well, I gotta stand on that. Oh, dealer has blackjack. So yeah, that's, uh... Did, wasn't really expecting there to be much more to it than this, but it's, uh... It's a very accessible in that you just get right to the blackjack action. It plays quickly. It's pretty well laid out. Makes good sense. Uh, let's hit again. There we go. Stand some more. Ah, 21. Let's play a few more hands and then move on to the second of our double down. So we may as well start increasing these bets up to roughly half of my cash, which is, uh, let's say, one... 118, because that'd be 236. So let's deal. Alright, couple of queens. Let's stand. Yeah, and I win some more. So I will bet half my money again. Unfortunately, I can't math that well. So I'm going to say that's half. Yeah, stand. So yeah, you get the point. It's a, I give this casino title a yay. No nays here. If you want to play blackjack, you can get right to the blackjack action, bring a friend, uh, customize some different things, such as, you know, number of cards, table limit, all that fun stuff. So like I said, blackjack gets a yay. So now it's time for some hot slots. I love me some hot slots. Just like the one on this title screen. Made in 1991 by Panesian Limited, apparently. As far as I understand it, this game was only released in Asia, but I thought, if I'm demonstrating a blackjack game, I may as well demonstrate this slot game. So let me go ahead and do the first... reel. See if we can't get lucky. Alright. Seven. Seven. Seven! I got three sevens already? I, I spin once, and I get three sevens, can you believe this? Well, you shouldn't, because it actually was the uh, demo at the start. But I wanted to do that for you, because I was I went into this going, maybe I should play it a little bit, see what it's like. And while I was trying to figure out how to actually control the slots, that triple seven thing happened. And I'm scrolling around for like a half hour going, how do I rewind this? I need to show everybody. Then I realized it was just like a demonstration, so... Joke's on me, but I thought I'd pass it along. 
So, as much as I like my hot slots, I don't mind myself a juicy fruit every now and again. So let's dive into some juicy fruits. This is going to move you. So let's exchange the medallions into cash. May as well exchange them all. Why $450? That's a very specific number. It's not as specific as it could have been. But yep, this is, uh, this is some slots. And again, this is another slots that I don't quite agree with because you have to stop the machine. Which makes it more like a game. So as far as it being like a slot game, it's actually a game rather than just being like straight up slots. But that takes away from a bit of the uh, casino experience. Let's see if I can't skill some some jackpots. Ah, so close. So let's do one more round on this slot, and then I'll check you the other slots. Hey, I won a couple of bucks. So how do I go back? Select, probably? Alright. Well, we may as well do the regular cutie bunny one. Only this time we won't get 777. Although if I do, it'll be... It'll... It'll tickle my fancy. Oh, it doesn't even... It looked like I could have stopped it. I probably can, I just don't understand how it stops. So let's do three runs of slots. At the casinos, I like to play the odd bit of slots. I don't really play casino blackjack, but I used to play a lot of just regular blackjack with my father growing up. Just like I was like eight, like he was just teaching me card games, poker, crazy eights, blackjack, stuff like that. Let's do one more. But I do, I will put, say, a 20 sheet into a slot machine, but I make sure that there's some sort of bonus game, and I bet the absolute least that I can. Because I find if I can get a bonus game to activate, I'll at least walk away from the slot machine with something, rather than nothing at all. Other than my, my wallet being lighter. On that note, I actually don't carry a lighter. A lighter. I don't carry a lighter, either. But I don't carry a wallet, because I end up just stuffing it full of just crap. There we go. So I just, I carry my, my money and my cards around just loose in my pocket. And it makes some people just pretty much break out into a cold sweat. Like, how do you not lose anything? It's like, this is the only way I don't lose anything. Someone I worked with was like, could you at least try a plastic bag? So they gave me one, and I'm like, sure, I'll try a plastic bag, just why not? I did it for one day, I'm like, no, this completely defeats the purpose of having my cards free. Not only that, it's not as bulky in my pocket. It's kind of off topic for slots, but... Why'd I just win there? I don't think it even says what the prizes are. Oh, I got a diagonal, like, jackpot almost. I almost got, like, a good jackpot there. But what was my point even bringing that up about my wallet? Did I have a point? Probably not. Let's play more slots. Oh yeah, because my wallet is lighter. But one time I played a Jeopardy slot machine, put $20 in, won $80. So I was like, hey, free buffet. So I went down to the buffet, ate myself a little bit of a buffet. Nothing quite like a free buffet. Oh, I almost got three Liberty Bells, even though I did the one medal. But yeah, this is pretty- this is hot slots. You can see why it wasn't released here. As far as a yay or nay, I mean, if you're just looking for some quick and dirty slots, and you have the means to play this, I would give it a yay. But other than that, as a game, I would give it a nay. Actually, I forgot because the slots, it seems somewhat skill-based. So for, I stricken my yay from the record, and I will give it a nay because of the select -a slots, even though it makes for a better game. But it does get a yay for making me think that I got three sevens first try, because I must say that's quite invigorating, even when you're not actually winning money. Come on, stars. I'd like to end with three stars. So close. But no three stars for me. But that was my double down today, showing you the blackjack and the hot slots. I don't know how much more NES 
I'm going to be able to gamble for a while. So I might upgrade to a stronger system. I may downgrade. I'm going to go all over the place. I want to find all of the casino and gambling games slash mini games that I can get my filthy myths on. So in any case, thank you very much for joining me today for another edition of the Video Game Gambler. Join me next time for another video game gambling experience, and I still go by Megahard.